Hey there, I hope you're doing wonderful. My name is Nates and I will review your storyline course over at storyaudit.eu and we can connect there and get the ball rolling. Right, now, a few weeks ago I published this 360 animation of a car in, uh, that I created in Storyline and there was a lot of questions how this is done, if I can send the source file, uh, if I can share more details. So unfortunately, I, I won't be sharing the, the, the source file. Um, that it's been a lot of work, but I will go through the steps and I'll show it to you how it's done. And this, in this video, this is the first part. We're gonna take like a high level overview of how this works. And then in the next video, I'll go into more details. So first here, I have a picture of a car and I have downloaded these states because this was a functionality on a website, which the images I grabbed uh, from the Nissan's website. And there are 36 images of this car in different positions. So that's the first thing here that you have to know. Then uh, I imported the states. This is now uh, much easier because there's an import function. I have done this all manually, so I imported one picture, replaced, the, changed, the, create a new state, change the image, and then so on and so on, 36 times. Fun, fun, fun. And then uh, the, uh, the main idea here is we have a slider. So when you're dragging left and right, you're actually moving a big, huge, invisible slider. So here, if I click the slider user, and if I zoom out a bit, you can see how big this actually is. And if I uh, go into settings and just pull down the transparency, you can see this is the actual slider thumb that you're moving left and right. So that's one thing. And then I have another slider, uh, which is connected to the car states. So here you can see if the state of uh, when slider moves, so this one, change the picture of the car to state one if value is one. And of course, this goes over to 36 times. Uh, now let me put this also on screen and have a quick preview so you get a feel for what's going on. So when I start dragging this, I'm counting, I'm noticing that you're dragging up or to the right, basically, which is up in this case, and I'm adding one every time. And then I loop when it gets to the edge. And when you go, when you go back, I notice you're going to the left and I'm subtracting those numbers to this from this slider. Now reviewing this all after so many years, I noticed that this probably could be just a variable, number variable that would go from one to 36. For some reason I picked uh, the slider in this case, but I think it's basically the same functionality. So here you can see the triggers I mentioned before. And also how it, uh, at the end, um, you can also see that I'm setting the picture to, uh, so this means when you're dragging to the left and the number goes down, when it gets to zero, it jumps to 36. And when it gets to 37, which, you know, there's no picture for that, it jumps to one. Actually, that the picture corresponds to these numbers. Uh, now I can also show you the variables here. And you can see all also from these numbers that these things loop, or, or at least the car, you know? So I'm dragging the slider and car gets to 36. And then when it gets to 37, it jumps to one. So there are some more triggers for this. So there you go. That's the basic functionality behind this. I'm still working on some upgrades like how this could really be looped so it doesn't end, you know, when the slider gets to the end, so it doesn't stop, still working on some kinks there. I'll show you more details in the next video, how I'm counting up and down, but until then, have a great day.